Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Basilius into Roman Empire campaign here. The U4. Things are going quite swell. We can now embrace tech. I don't know, it might actually be worth waiting a couple of months. Certainly at least one more month. Let's see here. So it's going from 2,500 to what? Oh yeah, see look at that. We saved 80, 80 ducats just by waiting. Um... I think that's probably plenty for me. Let's go ahead and take tech. We're going to go with admin tech because I had explained in the previous episode that that's the plan. <clears throat> Hissing Kaifa is the only one that I need to be aware of. We're actually well on our way to spawning global trade. We just might need to finagle some stuff around here. Um, but we should be fine. Trying to think here. Yeah. Well, like these little things like this. Like if I just, uh, not that one there, this guy here. When we're not at war, if I can update, upgrade those two, that's gonna be huge. And then we finish annexing him, which we will before global trade spawns. Like We're gonna be good, we're good. We're salted, salted. So let's go ahead and evoke that. Let's see here. Only rival to Russia. Kind of annoying. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna give that to Georgia. I'll probably have him full annex him. Him ready. What? Okay. Don't make no sense, but we'll go with it. Act as if it is. <laughs> Lots of money coming in. That's the, that's the truth about that, man. It's kind of crazy how much money we have coming in. Mill tech here. We have our uh, southern Cossacks. Speaking of that, we should probably... I don't know if I want any of the land up in here. I could get like some steps to give to the Cossacks estate, but I don't necessarily care a whole lot about the Cossacks. <clears throat> I don't know. Kind of letting my aggressive expansion tick down a bit up here. Because when we go, when we take this next war, we're going to be taking this entirety of that state. And uh, people are not going to be too happy about it. Uh, after I take that, and also Quit commenting about this. I know I have these. So many people are like, they're not so many, but there's a few people that comment and they're like, hey, make sure you click your completed mission. I know I have missions done, man. I'm not clicking it because you don't get permanent claims. So what's the point of getting them if they're not permanent until I'm right about to use them? That way they don't expire and there's no risk of them expiring, right? I feel like that makes sense. So that's why I don't do it. That's why I don't do it. A lot of people get confused about that. That's why I don't do it. We also need to, uh, you know, I'm actually going to ditch these two forts and build one in the mountains instead. <clears throat> that will protect all this instead. Dum, 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 dum. That's a thick Iraq. Georgia down there. We're gonna have to siege this fort here. 35% chance we get it, and we got it. Feels good, man. So we're gonna full annex him. Take all his money. There we go. Let's have those guys go suppress rebels over there. He also has claims on Emirati, but I think Russia would join on that one. Which is not ideal. Actually, not sure for Mary Nostrum. I already have the Mary Nostrum achievement, so I don't think I can actually get it. So all I need to get, I only need four more provinces to get uh, Basilius. Interesting. Restore the Roman Empire. <laughs> so yeah, I think after you have, after you've gotten it. More than fifty percent entry. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it'll show it up. It will show up, I mean. It's all Greek to me. Form Greece and hone and have cores on a bunch of stuff. 
Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. He killed my rebels for me. You love to see it happen, folks. So, truce is up pretty soon with you. Let's go ahead and suppress those rebels there. Let's also go ahead and make sure we have as much trade power over here as we do. Let's go ahead and switch that over to uh, trade power as well and then turn this one off so we're not losing all that money. And uh, that's pretty much all him. This Adana is mine as well though. So let's see what kind of money we're up to now. 3.36 or 33.6 so that actually puts us 100 or in the front. Just need to get him annexed. That'll be the key. All right. Truce with these guys is going to be up very soon. And I'm stoked about it. Patriarch Authority will be nice as well. We'll be able to pick a new icon. All right, Syria is disloyal because of enforced religion. Hmm. That's fine. So, Venice will be up in April. <clears throat> so I should probably get my navy over there. Watch Venice have like 750 galleys or something stupid like that. So, he only has 11, so we're good. We'll just get them up there right before we declare. There we go. Poland declared war on Hungary for that province there. Bum, 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 bum. We're ahead, so let's go for it. Maybe we'll be lucky and be able to get it before the end of this war, but probably not. Let's get you guys up there. Get you guys a general who's not dog shite. And then, yeah, so we're going to hopefully have our navy there so we can declare and then immediately, immediately go up and stack wipe this army here. So it's April, so next month. Oh, he's drilling, yeah. Please low. Very good. Burgundy will not help him, which is huge. Beautiful. Get it. No! Come on now. Tilting. <laughs> Very tilting. That's fine. We'll just have to win some sieges real quick then. Uh. Venezia can be, have some, oh wow. He had it mothballed. The more you know. Let's actually just come on over here and stack wipe. It's just hills, so we should be able to stack wipe him easily enough. Okay, let's have you guys come over there. There we go. And then do my little split trick. So we got half the stack over there. Go. Beautiful. And that's all she wrote. Uh, so, if I had more prestige, this wouldn't be as big of a problem, but it is indeed a big problem. Might need to shop a little bit of prestige from, uh, from him, from Salzburg. So we don't get nearly as much AE whenever we piece them out, but we'll see here. Let's go ahead and put uh, this Tiberios dude. Won the Siege of Verona. Let's come on up to Salzburg. Should get some prestige from that naval fight. Okay, yeah, almost the whole prestige. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want that. I don't want to be fighting zealots. Man, HRE's looking funky. So the Protestants, oh, Catholic is the official faith, but almost everybody is Protestant. Sheesh. Whatever, dude, you guys can be mad. I do not care. 
I cannot be bothered to do that. Alright, let's see if we can catch those guys though. We're gonna need to. Stack Wiperoni. Are they gonna run up to this Versade? Verast? Okay, very good. So Salzburg is out. Let's go ahead and get some prestige from them. And take all their money. And they said no for some reason. Cool. So now I'm just going to have to wait. There we go. And that should make this peace deal not so aggressive. Um, I don't know, man. I think with uh, Bohemia and France, there's not going to be a coalition firing. They're just going to be an OPM. Let's just do it. Let's just get... Let's just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. This one... Okay, are you seeing this? There's no temporary claims. So I will click it. See? 80 devastation in Venezia. Like you do. <clears throat> Gain bunches of money. Bunches of mill power. Venezia gets... Uh, Local unrest, dev cost, and autonomy change, and treasures return to Constantinople. Oh, right, this is about the Fourth Crusade. Constantinople gets 10% dev cost. Cool. Whoa, that's expensive. Holy crap, that's expensive. <clears throat> well, that is going to take us quite some time. Matter of fact... That might be worth waiting until we get this 25% core cost. That's so expensive. Jeez. Um, expensive enough for me to justify this, I think. Holy crap. It's crazy. Truce with the Mamluks is over, so let's immediately declare before they join a coalition. Um, so, let's just... Uh, Increase the autonomy and all that stuff. That's fine. Um, let's get that all over here. So yeah, we're probably going to have a coalition. It's just whether it will fire. I don't think it will. Let's get you guys... Let's boat bomb these guys over here. Where is that navy at? There they are. That is crazy expensive. All of Italy joining a coalition against me. I should probably bolster my army a bit. So let's see here. 29 combat width. So let's go up to that and let's add like a few more to that army. Let's get a good boat bomb off here. I love me a good boat bomb. And let's go siege down Cairo. Let's also have you guys protecting trade in Alexandria. Steering as much trade away from him as we possibly can. I think in the interest of preventing rebels, I'm just going to core it. And we'll we'll do our thingy. Um, we'll worry about our idea group after this. Because <clears throat> this is... Like, that's going to cause us... Yeah, three unrest. Until I finish that. So... Is he scootaged? He is. Good. Gonna say, I hope he doesn't get like one. Oh, I forgot Dulcadir. Well, I'll separate piece Dulcadir and have him break some alliances. That way I can attack him separately. It's probably for the best. Okay. Lithuania has gone bankrupt. Let's go ahead and get you guys down here. That way we can take this. Apparently he's gonna siege that really fast. That doesn't seem right, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and have you guys join in over here. Get a dog pile on them. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and actually just do the good old switch up. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, right, I need to do this one. So let's see here, we got the Eternal City. 
AE impact reduction, permanent claim on a couple of stuff. Very good. Let's go ahead and click that one. Probably should have enacted a new thing, but that gives me claims on all this. So I can take literally all of this and I don't need to feel bad about it. And it'll be reduced cost. Ah, oh, man. Is this a permanent claim? This is not permanent claims. So, it's unfortunate. I might actually do it, but I won't do it until I have the points to core it up. So, let's have you guys... something like that. Alright. Yeah, Dalkadir we will beat up on, but we're gonna end up separate piecing him. Are we ahead on Diplo? Barely. So one, one, as soon as we take this next Diplo tech, we are going to immediately start working on our culture conversions again. Culture conversions will get cheaper as we go along as well. Excuse me, get over there. There we go. He's got like an incredible amount of men somewhere. I just don't know where. Admin points, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Probably should just let my mill points get stacked up. There we go. Everything's getting sorted out over here. Get that cord up. So this is going... We are going to go over. I'm just going to do it. We're going to need 400. What in the world? That is so expensive. Okay. I'm not going to do that. But I will take all of this. Well, let's just see what sort of restore the pentarchy recover alexandria okay so everything if i take all of this that'll get me claims on some areas and then that will as long as i own antiochia which will give me missionary strength until the end of the game oh my gosh recover Kalfa? Okay, so I am Garkafa, so I need to take this, which will give me a bunch of stuff. Greek naming will be restored to many of our Turkish provinces. Very cool! Well, Dolkadir, you are going to literally break your alliance with everybody. Hiss and Kaifa I don't care about. Iraq I don't. I do want you to break your alliance with. Mamlux and no guy I don't care about. So there, that way our truce is nice and short. Be over in Eight years. Um, well, those guys are dead. Let's go ahead and see if we can make them flee, though. That would be cool if I didn't lose them all. Hey, that's pretty good. Very good. So, um, yep, I will just do this. This will take almost 400 admin points. And man, it's it's like one of those things. I'm like I, I, it would save me a hundred points if I just wait. But if I wait, you know, I'm gonna need to wait for it. So it's kind of like, oh geez, this isn't uh, this is tough. Let's go ahead and do the same thing I usually do here. Nope, that is. Oh my gosh, that's not what I clicked. Here we go. Select just you two. Thank you. You guys here. There, there, there. There we go. It's a lot of manpower, boys. And girls. We have the occasional girl in here as well. Yeah, oh, cool. Sick, I love stuff getting reformed. Yeah, let's go! Let's go, Malta, being reformed. That's cool, man. See, so, yeah, I can also get one for the Maghreb. Northern Italy. Where's that one at? Recover Tunis. So recovering Tripoli will give me permanent claims in Tunis. So I could also take all of this instead of that. It's gonna give me a hundred. Damn. All right. I'm gonna have to break this up. So I guess which which one is more important to me right now? I think expanding this way would be nice.
Hmm. That gives me permanent claims on Castile. If I recover Alexandria, it gives me more claims in Egypt. And restoring the Pentarchy, which is seems really strong. Torn to the true faith? Super strong, considering we're going for like a one faith of Europe. Hmm. All right. We are going to only take this stuff here. This is what we're going to do. I don't think I get any events for that stuff. So let's see here. After I get that, I'll get permanent claims on all of this. Oh, look at that. Gothic invasion. That's impressive, man. That is quite impressive. All right. Anyways, let's... Uh... Somehow I have not that much war score with you. It doesn't make sense at all, honestly. Alright, so let's come on down here and uh, kill that guy. I feel like this is not correct. That war score is way lower than it should be considering the fact that I have him almost full occupied. Let's get you guys down there. Deus Volt, Antioch has been reclaimed. 20 Patriarch Authority. And uh, rename some stuff for us. Okay, um... <clears throat> Let's go ahead, do that. Integration is indeed a slow process. Let's come on over here and see if we can get these guys killed. There we go. Seems like there's some devastation going on. Austria has entered into the coalition as well. Yeah, it's not going to fire. We're cool. That is gorgeous. Okay. Well, that definitely sits them over the edge. I need to wait, though, until we're done with our... Um, until we're done with our... Uh, cores over here. We have to wait on this. So July of 81. So we're just going to speed five it for a moment. Oh yeah, stack wipe them. Kill them. There we go. That's all she wrote. Just waiting on cores. Dolkadir broke their alliance with Hissing Kaifa. He's got some rebels now, which is nice. Converting some stuff, which is nice. Twice as nice. Converting stuff for our vassal. Okay, so Mamluks want peace, and they will not get it until I am ready to get it. Well, I guess that's only 15% overextension, so we can do that. I do want to make sure that I'm able to core it, though. So let's see here. How much is it going to cost? Yeah, we'll wait like two more months. One more month. Get you guys all joined up up here. Okay, let's go with our monarchist. I will not take anything extra in order to keep the truce nice and short. Just what I need for the mission. That will allow me to restore the pentarchy. The wound is healed. Disab disables the papacy. Really? Mend the schism. Very cool. Well, if I have the prestige, I might as well, like, I don't even need to. Go ahead and send officers to them. Very cool. So, the papacy is no longer a thing? Or is that just, like, the, uh... The, um... Is that what... Let me see here. Do we actually get an achievement for that? Isn't there a thing about wounding? 
Mending the schism? I might be making that up. Go ahead and have these guys um, protecting trade in Alexandria. Very cool. So let's go ahead and core that all up, like I said. Cairo is 219. That's actually insane. So let's get everybody grouped up there. Half of them in Cairo. Half of them in, like, Antioch. Rome has been reclaimed. 10% missionary strength versus heretics. Damn. I am going to hold on to that one. I'll definitely hold on to that one because that'll be huge once we start taking land in the HRE. The HRE? HRE? Um, cool. And then our truce with them will be up in 91. We'll be able to attack Dalkadir, which will be really good. We're getting called in. That's fine. For sure, brother. Doesn't matter to me. What's this other one we got going on? All right, yeah, it's that guy. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I suppose I could build some forts, but I also should probably be building these guys here. This will increase our trade income. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. That's going to all be important. It's helping us spawn global trade. We're going to need to also attack Theodoro. Russia would help him. I'm ready. Well, I might as well wait until uh, this truce is up. That way we can get our get it working on that. So I think we're good to just wait. Let's see here. We should probably build some more men. Let's go ahead and build a template. Twenty nine. So twenty nine. Let's let's can let's. I'm thinking over here. So twenty nine is our combat width. So let's go ahead, create a template that is <clears throat> 25 by four with uh, say 15 cannons. There we go. Need more monies, but we'll be able to upgrade our army. That way we won't, we certainly won't be attacked which is the ideal, right? All right, cool. I think that's a good place to end it for the episode. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to show your support, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you wanna check out the Discord or the Patreon, links are in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.